newsflash everybody, the Mass Effect indoctrination theory isn't real. Yeah. Hello everybody, my name is Nico the Legend, also known as the Well-Mannered Teenager, the Snowflake, and the Rambling Idiot, and I'm here to tell you that the indoctrination theory isn't real, and here's why. Well, let's just, let's just get down to brass tacks, shall we? Uh, let's, okay. The Mass Effect indoctrination theory was a thing that was invented at, thanks to the wonderful, wonderful ending we got in Mass Effect 3. Uh, yeah, it was like a cause and effect thing, because we all know that the Mass Effect 3's ending was very controversial. It really didn't explain anything that was going on when we were seeing it happen on screen, the last, pretty much the last 10 minutes of the game, or 15 or 20, depending on how much you cried, uh, was complete, utter crap to a lot of people's perspective, or if you're like me, just confusion, and it just didn't make a lick of sense of what was happening at all. Hence why they made the extended cut. Now, because the Mass Effect 3 ending was so controversial, I was about to say bad, I mean, you could say bad, the indoctrination theory was invented. It came out from the ashes of M M Mass Effect and Bioware's slowly spiraling, <laughs> trickling ashes falling down to the ground. And it just, and this just fucking grew right back up. Yeah, it was, it was that much of an intense situation for a lot of gamers that gamers themselves are the reason why this theory exists. So what is the indoctrination theory besides the effect of Mass Effect 3's ending? It is basically, it was our coping mechanism, our coping methods as gamers, for the majority of us that came up with it, or who agreed with it, made videos on it, thought this was all happening in Shepard's head. All the stuff that started to get really, really strange and railroaded and multiple choice at the end of Mass Effect 3, that's when everybody thought that Shepard was being mind screwed, you know. Someone was pulling a Jedi mind trick on him, or brainwashing him, or confusing him, setting up all these weird images in front of him. Hence the Star Child was a prime suspect, you know, try to find ways to just elevate how he truly feels and just stress him the heck out and just have him not know what to really do. You know, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's pretty much it. It was like Shepard going on a psychosis trip and just the Reapers were telling him that destroying is bad. You know, you want to do these other two options because these are the better options. Yeah, we get to all coexist. Yay! Don't just forget about your original mission. I'm the Star Child. Don't you want to shoot me? You can't. You have to wait till the extended cut. And that was it. And so that was what everybody was thinking was the true ending. Like we were giving Bioware the extra credit that they didn't deserve. That's how we were. That's how most gamers were coping with it. And I, you know, there were some strong arguments about it. It was pretty crazy. I actually liked it quite a bit. It was pretty neat. Now let's get to let's get to the nitty gritty of why this isn't true. So, uh, from this article on Forbes, there were always a lot of gaps in the theory, but it sounded plausible. This is the author writing, and fans wanted to believe that it was actually spinning a bad ending into brilliance. Coping, Byer has com commented on this before, but probably not this forcefully. As part of the gamers' excellent look back at the Mass Effect series, they talked to writer Chris Helper, who had this to say about the famous theory. All right, pay attention. The indoctrination theory is a really interesting theory, but it's entirely created by the fans, Helper explains. While it made some of the ending a little trippy, a uh, little is an uh, you know, oof, underutilized word there, uh, because Shepard is a breath away from dying, and it's entirely possible there's some subconscious power to the kids' words. We never had the sort of meetings you need to have to properly seed it through the game. He goes on to say, We weren't that smart. By all means, make mods and write fanfic about it and enjoy whatever floats your boat because it's a cool way to interpret the game. But it wasn't our intention. We didn't write that. Yeah, because when you guys were writing Mass Effect 3, you didn't, you weren't really being smart at all to begin with. You know, the original storyline for Mass Effect 3 was going to be 10 times better. You can look it up on the internet what the original storyline from Drew Carpesian was going to be, and it's going to be bad ass instead we got the MacGuffin storyline which isn't terrible it's cliche though it's not as cool as the original one and uh yeah the ending was just like mm. so those are the famous words from that guy <laughs> that guy i've never heard of him and there you go now with that said how are you guys feeling about the indoctrination theory not being real are you still indoctrinated by the reapers telling you that it's all real of what happened and you're not crazy. This is what you're supposed to do. Don't destroy us, blah, blah, blah. No, but for real, I 
I, I took the indoctrination theory with a grain of salt. I kind of figured that we're just giving Bioware way too much credit because these guys were the the people that really screwed us over in all our hopes and dreams on finishing this series properly. It pulled the Game of Thrones season 7 and 8. It's like all of a sudden the source material just ran out of material. It's just really unfortunate considering how big this universe is in this game. Now, uh, that's pretty much all there is to say. I am i don't know how I feel about these things when they come out so many years later just saying that, yeah, this isn't real. You know, it's like, well, you know, you could have could have said that before but you know what whatever now i will let you guys know just a reminder mass effect 3's ending does not change in any shape or form in the legendary edition so be aware of that it has been confirmed by them that nothing is changing about that or with it so if that is soul crushing for you and you didn't know that well now you do so anybody who's worrying about if the endings change well it's not but with that said, guys, I've been your host, Nigga the Legend, also known as the well mannered Teenager, the Snowflake, and the Rambling Idiot. And let me know down in the comments below on how this makes you feel that the indoctrination theory isn't true, or was never true to begin with. I, I'm sure a lot of us guessed that it was just fanfic stuff in the making, but it was a cool thing to just write along for the time being, because I was starting to believe it before the extended cut came out. And that just completely just, you know, buried it deep underground. But... Just imagine if Bioware did go with that route and actually did some crazy, crazy stuff with the indoctrination theory that they could still carry on to Mass Effect 4 or 5 or Andromeda 2, whatever the heck you want to call it. But I don't think that's going to happen. But it might. But it's not. But, you know. <laughs> anyway, guys, take care. Appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please follow me on the YouTube channel. Check out me in the Discord. Uh, check out the Nico Show on Spotify or just Nico Show Podcast and stuff, and I'm on Twitter as well. Bye-bye, Pathfinders. And Miranda's butt is not an indoctrination theory. That is a real thing.